Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is an unreal process has crashed Borderlands 4. If you're receiving low level fatal error or GPU crash dump triggered error or unhandle access violation error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to lower down monitor refresh rate to 120 Hertz. Uh, so if your monitor refresh is of 20, 120 Hertz, then you can set it to 120 hertz or you can even go for 60 hertz and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you next step is to restore nvidia settings in nvidia control panel so you can go to desktop make a right click go to show more option and then click on nvidia control panel and then go to manage 3d settings go to global settings over here and then click on restore click on yes and once the restore is done now hit apply at the bottom right hit apply over here and once this is done now you can uh, launch the game and then check still not working uh, the next step is to try power saver mode or balanced in power option now for this type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then click on power options over here now in my case it is set to balanced. i have only one option but in your case if you see this uh, like power saver over here uh, you can select power saver so you will see like this power saver over here so you can select power saver you can even go for balanced and then check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to install intel extreme tuning utility application and lower down performance score ratio now if you have this installed you can install uh, you can launch it if you don't have it you can go to intel website and you can install it from there you can install it from the Intel website and once you install it and then you can go to launch it and then you can go to performance score ratio and then you can lower it down if this is set to 57 or 58 X you can try 55 maybe 54 maybe 53 or 52 and then once you change it lower down and then hit apply hit apply and then you can launch the game and then check still not working uh, the next step is to and now once you lower down performance score ratio restart your computer and then you can launch the game next step is to turn on or turn off hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings click on advanced graphic settings now if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it off and then you can check if this is already on you can turn it off and then check for many users turning it on has worked and few for few users Turning it off also has worked. So you can try both and then check. But you have to relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to disable G-Sync in, in NVIDIA control panel. So you can launch NVIDIA control panel. And then uh, if you see this option, uh, uh, I have a, uh, so you can go to NVIDIA control panel and uh, you can go to G-Sync option and you can disable G-Sync and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use nvidia optimization for borderland 4 now for this uh, you can launch nvidia app on your computer and once you go to nvidia app uh, you will see the game over here you can go to settings over here and it, i am facing some problem but over here if you see optimization option uh, you might see optimization like this optimize option so you can just optimize it if you see it over here optimize it and then launch the game if uh, if it is already optimized so if it is already optimized over here you will see revert optimization and then you can check and try launching the game from nvidia app so you can go to nvidia app and then you can go to uh, home and then you will see the play option over here so hit play and then you can launch the game now the next step is to close all third-party application including your browsers uh, for many users closing chrome has also worked so you can try this close all the application which you're not using so if you have the game on steam make sure only the steam and the game is running rest close everything now the next step is to set shader, ca uh, shader cache to 10 or 100 gigabyte now for this you can go to nvidia app and then uh, you can go to graphics over here and then you can select the game over here and then at the top click on global settings over here scroll down shader cache size now if this is set to driver default you can set it to 10 gigabyte relaunch the game and then you can check if that does not work you can even change it to 100 gigabyte this has worked for a few players so it might work for you you can try this 
and then you have to relaunch the game and then check still not working then in that case you can select driver default you can set it to default and then follow the next step now the next step is to roll back graphics driver now if the latest graphic card driver is not working in that case you can go to nvidia website select your graphic card your operating system click on find Now on this page, scroll down over here. You can see view more version and for few users, this has worked uh, 580.97 GeForce Game Read Driver. You can uh, click on view and then you can go for download. And then once the download is complete, uh, you can uh, run the exe file, click on agree and continue, select custom option, then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next after the clean installation, restart your computer and then you can check. Now, if that does not work for few uh, players, installing 577 version has also worked. So you can scroll down. You can even try this 577 and then make sure that you go for clean installation and then you can check. If that does not work, the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected when you update the BIOS. Next step is to set upscaling to TSR and you can even try window mode now for this you can open file explorer go to documents option over here and then you can go to my games and then open the game folder saved config and windows open game user settings and scroll down over here if you see uh, upscaling if this is set to dlss or any uh, like fsr you can just type in tsr over here and then uh, over here you can see scroll down you will see full screen mode uh, you can type in number two over here for full screen mode and then go to file click on save and then launch the game and then check if that does not work uh, the next step is to disable overlay and like if you have discord running you can go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running you can go to nvidia app settings and then you can go to settings over here and turn off nvidia overlay uh, close all the other if you have any other overlay application running close it uh, you can also disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right on the game select properties turn off the option which is enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so you can make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click click on run as administrator and then check if that does not work open oak game binaries win64 make a right click on this exe file and then select properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here still not working you can even select windows 8 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working try windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now still not working you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program if you're using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allow app browser apps and then go to the game installation folder and then select the both the exe file and then click on open again add an allow app browser apps open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now launch the game still not working the next step is to link steam account to swift account now for this you can go to borderland website go to the official website you can search in google and then go to the official website and then click on this three horizontal line and then you can click on shift over here if you have the game on steam you can click on over, click over here if you have the game on epic games launcher click on epic games launcher icon and then you can just link your steam account to shift account Now click on sign in, read this. If you agree, then you can click on sign in. And once you are logged in, now you can go to 
coming gaming platform over here and then here you can see it's linked now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update steam now for this you can go to steam uh, click on steam over here click on check for steam client update and once update is done launch the game if that does not work if you have windows 11 n edition and this is for n edition user only install media feature pack you can search in google how to install media feature pack in windows 11 n edition and i think uh, i don't have windows 11 n edition but you can do this you can go to system and then you can go to optional features and if you find you can click over here find media feature pack if you find it install it from here you can in the search box you can type in media feature pack and if you see it put a check and then install it or you can search in google and once you install media feature pack and then restart your computer and then check next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you're using old driver uh, you can just go to nvidia website select your graphic card your operating system click on find and again uh, Whichever is the latest graphic card driver, uh, at the very top you will see the not the studio one, but the GeForce Game Ready driver. Right now this is the latest one. You can go for it, download it, install it, and make sure that you uh, select custom option. You have to select custom and then click on perform a clean installation. Then click on next. After the clean installation, restart your computer and then you can check. It's still not working. The next step is to update game. Uh, if there is any update, uh, you can update it. You can even restart Steam, exit, and then relaunch Steam, and then check. Uh, if there is any update, let the update complete. Uh, try launching the game multiple times. Uh, so when you try to launch, launch the game multiple times, and if the game is crashing, uh, you may see this prompt. Uh, that is, restore default settings. So click on yes, and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to restart Steam or epic games launcher uh, so you can just restart steam and then once you exit this time when you uh, launch steam you can type in steam in windows search box and then you can run as administrator and do the same thing with epic games launcher next step is to rename the config folder now for this you can go to file explorer and then go to documents my games borderland 4 saved here you can see config when you rename the config folder all the saved settings will be lost so you can click on rename and then you can check if that does not work uh, you can rename the save game files but when you rename the save game files all you will lose all the save game progress you have to start everything from scratch so create a backup first so you can go to documents my games copy this borderland 4 folder copy this and paste it to the desktop uh, once you have a backup created over here now you can rename it the game will start from scratch but so if you agree you can rename it and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder select the game exe file once added click on the game and select high performance you will see your graphic card again click on add desktop app open this oak game binary is win64 select this exe file click on add once added again select high performance over here and then launch the game next step is to verify the game files now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is done complete launch the game next step is to run epic games launcher or steam as an administrator which we have already done try dx12 in the launch option make a right click on the game properties in the launch option type in dash dx12 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work remove this follow the next step now the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this open this thing browser and here you can see visual studio file you have to download this x86 and x64 download both the files and run both the exe file download both x86 and x64 and here you can see x86 you can click on it if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install again run this x64 file as well if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option hit install and let the installation complete once the installation is complete you can restart restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to 
unplug all the external devices which you are not using. So if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple, uh, like if you have extra controller connected, disconnect it. If you have multiple monitor setup, try launching the game on single monitor. Disconnect all the uh, multiple monitor connected to the computer. Do not overclock. If you have overclocked, set it to default. Close all the overclocking applications like MSI Afterburner, Reward Tuner. If you have any third party application or services running, close it. Remove the undervolt if you have undervolted your computer. The last tip is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, make a right click on the game and then select manage, uninstall. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.